In this movie, I'm going to explain a little more about Equilibrium's DSP settings, which provide comprehensive options for the handling of phase and designing of the EQ's impulse response, for the most discerning producers and mastering engineers who insist on complete control. Under the DSP settings, the first option allows you to change the position of bands from series to one of two parallel options, for peaks and shelves. This makes for less aggressive band interaction and subtler EQ application, which could be more suitable in certain situations. Below this is the Processing Mode section. Here you can set the EQ to have an infinite or finite impulse response. An infinite response without any digital compensation leads to the least CPU intensive settings, but with no control over the phase. To give an extra edge though, the compensation can be set a little higher if required. Setting the processing to a finite response, however, then brings the section alive, where there are now two displays for viewing and editing the phase and impulse response. Here you can change the EQ's phase to one of several options, including linear, two analog options where the phase response is cumulative as with hardware, or a full minimum option for reducing phase delay as much as possible. In free mode, there are even handles on the phase display, which allow you to adjust the degree of phase influence each band in the EQ has. In the lower half, you can see the impulse response that's generated by your EQ and phase settings, which can be zoomed, as on the display above, using the bar underneath. Above this is what's called the window shape, which serves to minimize ripple and shorten the tail length, whilst ensuring minimal loss in response definition. The default window here is Kaiser, which does a good job in most applications, but there are a whole host of other options, including Hamming and Blackman, to allow comparisons to be made. Impulse length and padding are two key parameters here. The higher the length, the greater the resolution, but at the expense of more CPU, whereby the max setting is likely to require everything you have, but it can be reduced in situations where CPU overload becomes a problem. Impulse padding is Equilibrium's strategy for reducing wraparound of ringing, where a higher value can be set to alleviate situations where ringing may be creating an issue. And if you want to apply these settings to any other instances of equilibrium in your project, or save just the DSP settings alone as a preset, then it's possible with only a few clicks of the mouse.